On this tutorial, I will be explaining about how to use displacement in Radium Perimeter for Maya. Displacement is a feature that lets you render detailed mesh from a texture map when rendering. So unlike normal map or bump map, you can get detailed mesh such as mountain terrain, even if you move from it to any camera angle. These are easy to use and will save you from modeling detailed terrain one by one. Let's get started. First, create and assign Uber material on the object you want to add displacement on. For mine, I will create a plane and set an Uber material. After that, open Uber material and scroll down to where you can see a check for use displacement. This is where you will mostly be adjusting. On the displacement map, this is where you will be connecting textures. So let me show you an example with a simple checker map. Add a light over it and click on the IPR render. You should be able to have something like I do. The viewport showing a plane mesh while the render view has a height depending on the checker map. White area is a maximum height for the map while the black bar is a minimum height. So you can actually use a bump map to show height. If you want to change setting, you can change it by going through the max and minimum value of the displacement map. You can change the quality amount by changing the subdivision level, but I recommend using adaptive subdivision. This determines the displacement polygon counts added between the object to camera. So compared with subdivision mode, you will get more details using adaptive subdivision. Higher factor means lower polygon, while lower factor means higher polygon. You can decrease it for better quality, but the calculation for polygon will be higher that it takes more time to start rendering. Crease weight is a parameter that shows sharpness of the message and corner. Larger it is, it shows sharper corner while lower makes it smoother. So that will be all for this part of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.